beautiful people, if you're watching for the very first time, welcome, my name is Aman. I'm back in the shop and I think today, today might be the day, today might be the day that this engine comes out. I thought I didn't have wood blocks, which I do on the outside. I picked these up, well I actually didn't pick them up, I actually had them. I'm going to use those two blocks of wood to stick on top of the jack and try to get this car high enough where I can pull this engine out. That's the goal. So I'm gonna basically um, start unbolting some of these bolts. I'm gonna move the uh, coolant pan out of the way, get the cart underneath, cart underneath, rest the engine, hopefully on that thing, and then start unbolting. And then we'll see. We'll see if this works. I don't know, man. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping uh, <laughs> my theory works. Um, looks pretty tight there. Um, in terms of these crossbars, so I might have to pull these out, looks like. I might. Um, so I'll take a look at that. But other than that, it should slide right out, you know what I mean? So let's see. Okay, folks, so I'm almost at that moment of truth. Um, I've got the bars out. You can see underneath. I've got the cart just pretty much resting on it. It's probably going to flop a little bit. Um, you know, when I rest it down on there, I think I probably should lift it up, put some shims or something in there because of the way the oil pan is. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I'll see what I got. Um, or I'll just go rego style. I've got the back mount off I guess that's the tranny mount right in there that one is out I just gotta pull this one out and this one out and um, that should be it I don't see anything else that could be in the way maybe the alternator maybe so I might have to pull that out um, on that let's see let's see uh, Let's see what happens here.
I ran out of battery, so I'm just swapping it out now, but I had to take off the driver's side mount. Everything else looks good. The engine's pretty much out now. It's just a matter of getting this car high enough so I can pull it out. So I'm gonna get the other jack, stick it underneath in here in the back, somewhere here with those pieces of wood. And then I'm gonna jack this up, see if I can get this high enough. And hopefully I can get this engine out. Man, I freaking did it. I got her out. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself because that was, that was an ordeal, especially by yourself, man. And no, you know, no engine hoist. <laughs> that was Rego style. I don't know if you saw that, but the contraption I used, I had these pieces of wood right there on that jack. And then I hosted up as hard, as high as I could. Luckily for me, I got it high enough. I pulled that engine out and there she is. All this glory there. I got her out start taking her apart painting cleaning whatever it is but uh, first things first man I gotta clean all this stuff out because she's bleeding she's bleeding pretty bad I'm happy man I'm stoked and I'm exhausted I had to go underneath take out another one I, the catalytic converter I had to pull that out I'm not worried about anything right now I'm just gonna put my tools away for now and then worry about the rest later I just want to get my tools cleaned in a way you always gotta make sure that uh, something is actually what I learned when I used to do framing and stuff is at the end of the day, you gotta clean up your tools. It's respect for the tools. So that's a note for you guys that are you know, doing whatever. Doesn't matter what you're doing, clean your tools, man, because res it's respect. So I'm gonna do that, but uh, man, I'm, I'm ecstatic, honestly. Hard part's done. Well, one of the hard parts, still plenty to go. I'm gonna assess this, figure this out, change what I need to change. You gotta do all the seals and all that sort of stuff. I had a long way ahead of me, man, but this was a start. It's on that rolly cart, at least I can get that out of the way, which is fantastic. I can worry about this later, but yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Please do me a favor. I mean, like it, share it, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll put up a card up here so you can see the rest of the videos of Project Johnny that I've been working on so far on my 91 Honda Turbo CRX. Till next time, folks, peace out.